a whirlpool of culture, color and cuisines. Even within our little Chennai, we have a culinary scene as diverse and colorful as the many shades of a Kanchipuram silk sari. Now what I mean to say is, if you are in Mailapur for example, apart from all the many temples, you are going to find a lot of Brahmin eat out. And if you happen to be in the area where Kilpok and Egmoor is, you are going to find a lot of vegetarian restaurants. Now with so many places to go to with so little time, it is rather difficult right to see all the places. But look no further because today on Feeding Frenzy, I am going to show you one of the coolest restaurants to be at. And by the way, it happens to be a one-sided meal. And you will find out what I mean in just a quick second. And by one-sided, I mean a Chinese restaurant that serves only vegetarian. But before you go green in the face, I'll show you why that's a good thing. Chinese is really not complete without the meat, but when you have such a wide array of vegetarian options to choose from, you have no choice but to give in and go green. This locality is totally surrounded by Jains. Uh, so, the Jains normally will not go to a Chinese restaurant, but here we give Jain food. Especially when they want uh, Jain food, they, they tell us in, well before ordering. So, we give Jain food without garlic, without onion, all those things we do it. Located on the second floor of a rather dingy looking shopping complex just off a busy Egmo Road, Flower Drum does have the right beats to make you come alive. Especially since the dull, gloomy complex can make anyone feel rather low. The deep tones and red shades inside set the mood for a cosy dining experience. The granite blocks, the great Buddha statue add to the Chinese-themed ambience. But the centre of attention here are these two sofas which are a little more than a half-moon shaped sofa. They are so comfortable and so inviting, just making you want to plop down and get yourself nice and cosy. Well, this is also a really good option to entertain big crowds, so remember keep that in mind. Lucky me there, getting all cosy in my seat. The hard paperback menu is expansive. At first, you don't realize everything. More than a hundred odd dishes are all vegetarian. But soon enough, a closer look and you know what to expect. So I'm expecting to have a hearty meal since the meat and to get my meal rolling, I'm going to have a portion of the Bangkok garlic soup. I noticed one similarity between Thai cuisine and the Malayali cuisine my mother makes at home. The use of coconut. The Bangkok soup is a testimony to that comparison. A rich coconutty flavoured soup with a good dose of greens added a much needed body to this otherwise creamy, almost syrupy in textured soup. An interesting order I might add. It's sort of funny actually, I kind of realised that the soup and my top more or less resemble each other but well the soup's flavour is really nice I quite like the garlic taste in it and it's got so many greens and so many green vegetables which is what makes this a healthy option as for the coconut it's really difficult to say this is a coconut based soup because the mildness of the coconut flavours is still felt after you've had the soup After a creamy and rather sweet start, it was time to add some zing to my meal. A noising tofu. Made from bean curd marinated in a chef's special sauce came sizzling to my table. This sizzler is much like a meal on its own, so do pick your choice of dishes carefully if you're an uncertain eater. The sizzling noising tofu for me is sizzling off the plate than it is on the plate and that's because I really like the combination of the sweet and the spicy. The sweet flavours come out from the onions and the spicy flavours from the red chillies. In all, I really like it because it's light, it's not too oily and it's really fresh. Thus far, my meal was going pretty well. 
and I was getting a tad bit full from my two courses. I had already seen my veggies appear and reappear in various forms. But I still had one more course left. The flower drum special and the Buddha's delight. The flower drum special is a stirred vegetable fried rice made with mushrooms, broccoli, sweet corn and peppers seasoned mildly to retain the individual taste of each vegetable. The Buddha's delight, a delicate blend of sweet and sour, is almost a religious experience unto itself. Made with the same variety of vegetables that I had eaten until now, this can get to you after a point. Now and that's also because of the name given to the dish. Now I really don't know who came up with the name or the idea. I must tell you that this combination is definitely a divine experience. It's very simple and what I like about the rice is the fact that it's all sweet. Now all through my courses the dishes have been sweet but it doesn't overpower your palate and that's what really does well at this restaurant. Well, I stayed off meat for an entire meal and I'm actually satisfied. This is really quite a feather in my cap or should I say a flower in my cap? One of the owner's recommendations from the menu is a corn cornetta, a nice munchie to get started with and a wedge dim sum, a classic recipe at every Chinese restaurant. Now the word vegetarian was coined by the founders of the British Vegetarian Society in 1842. Now it is derived from the Latin vegetis which actually means whole, fresh and completely lively. And that kind of sums up my experience here today at Flower Drum. Now if you guys would like to come here or win yourselves a couple of coupons to come and dine at Flower Drum then remember send in the correct answer to this week's competition question. Now until we meet again and I am going to be on the lookout for more diverse local eatouts, you guys stay tuned. In which country was iced tea first introduced in 1904? A. The United States B. Afghanistan or C. Thailand Send in your answers to feedback at ndtv-hindu.com